This is Sim Say Hi. He is 91 years old. He likes to drive, eat ice cream, and play on his computer. Uh, it was the year 1948. That was the year I joined telecoms. Actually, it was a pen management department. And when Singapore becomes independent, telecoms department was called uh, Telecoms Authority of Singapore. These days, we know it as uh, Singtel. My first job was to be in charge of the VHF. When telecoms first started, we don't have a, our own base station because those days, we just piggyback on the police network. As Mr. Sim tells me about the early forms of telecommunications, I think about how slow everything must have been in the past compared to the hyper-connectivity of the present. Actually, I was the first person to use solar panel in Singapore. Wow. Nowadays, you can find solar panel everywhere. <laughs> everywhere in Singapore? Even the most advanced technology back in the day moved at a snail's pace compared to what we have now. Perhaps that made people cherish being able to communicate with one another much more. Present Benjamin Shears. This, this is me. Mm -hmm. What event was this? This one was the opening of the Satellite Earth Station in Sentosa. Mm. Can I see? Yeah. I was asked by the GM mm -hmm. to conduct the president round the Sentosa complex. I found out that the Earth Station is still at Sentosa. Up there is the receiver room and the transmitter room. The transmitter room is where the high power amplifier is located. Wow, Akong, it's still here. Yeah. Yeah, and so <laughs> are you. Okay. <laughs> wow, what's this? Satellite Earth Station first day cover. Hey. This is very, very nice. <laughs> Wonderful. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Sim's contributions to Singapore's telecommunications development were invaluable in the years he worked in the industry. Because of the work of pioneers like him, Singapore's Infocom infrastructure has become what it is today.